what's up guys so <clears throat> i saw this video about this guy that said he was packing a ukraine kit but he wasn't actually going to ukraine and so I thought it'd be cool yeah, it's, it's just to show you guys, kind of because I actually did go to Ukraine, um, kind of the kit that I'm using, well, actually the kit that I'm using right now, and then a bunch of stuff that we brought too much of, all right? So first, the Gucci stuff. Here we go. Gucci stuff is I've got my Oakley glasses. Gucci stuff is... Cry Precision shirt. <clears throat> you asked about why Cry Precision, like what, what are you trying to look like in multicam? An operator? Um, yeah, I want to look like an American. Um, I have tourniquets in both my pockets. I have the blue stripe, and then I have the, the patch that they gave me. They only made like 15. It's for the snipers. I have my Cry Precision pants. I keep a flashlight, a knife, and an Aeolus defense belt inside there. I'm wearing these Solomon boots. I actually am, still have my use of sock model T holster. And I got a Glock 19 from a buddy here. And it's not mine. It's a, an actual Austrian Glock 19. It doesn't have sights, but I got it. Two magazines. So my normal holster, my normal Winkler knife. Um... <clears throat> In this pouch, I have two actual real frag grenades. Now, these frags are 200-meter uh, frags, so they're barricade frags. And so it's kind of cool. You hold it in the palm of your hand, the, this little lever in the palm of your hand. You got to bend both of these deals right here flat, then pull the pin, and you toss it, and you have to be behind a barricade because it will go through the barricade. And so I've got two frags there. I got an extra magazine, and then this mag rotates when I carry the belt and when I don't. I don't actually carry the belt all day. Are you shocked? All right, <clears throat> next thing. I have another frag pouch. <clears throat> I'm supposed to get more frags, but I don't have them yet. I have my OpsCore helmet. I didn't want to bring my PVS-31, so I brought my PVS-14 because this one's legal to take back and forth. I got a strobe on it. I wouldn't use the strobe. Um, because, uh, other people have night vision too. Um, so that's my ops core. The rifle that they gave me was this, uh, AK-74. It is a Soviet era AK-74. Brand new. Brand new, never been fired. And, um, <laughs> it's been dropped three or four times. And this is my AK-74. Yes, here. <laughs> They are all made fully automatic. So to here is fully auto, to here is semi-auto. Um, in here, what they like you to do is carry an empty chamber and it on safety. I don't. I carry an empty chamber for them unless I think my life is on the line, then I actually charge one, but I leave it off safety so that I just have to charge it. All right, I've got the... Uh, surprisingly, this is my first sling. So SOE gave me this two-point sling. Um, I will be switching all of my slings now over to SOE because what you don't understand, you guys think that that being in a war is like all the time shooting. It's like all of the time boring. And so I spend more time carrying this rifle like this than I do any other way. And you can see from all my pictures, well, this little bunginess makes it freaking nice to have. So anyway, that is my AK. Then I have this big Wild Things puffy jacket with my blue stripes so that they don't shoot me. The uh, friendly fire here I think would be unbelievable. All right, I've got shot stop level four plates. I've got three mags. I've got my um, outlaw knife. Um, I've got this there on the nights that we go dark. We can't we can't use a flashlight. We can only use a red light. So this this is to serve as my red light. And then uh, I keep my gloves beaner to these. I actually met one of these guys. It's pretty cool. He's on my team. Then uh, I have my other side mag. I always keep this mag here. 
It's in a London Bridge pouch. I've got a uh, Black Scout survival um, medical kit. <clears throat> and this is literally what I go to work in every day. Literally 99% boredism, you know, 10% not. Uh, here's another guy that's with this kit. He's got regular plates, four mags, a helmet. Here's a bag of stuff I brought and haven't used. Here's three bags of stuff that James brought and hasn't used. Here's more stuff I brought and haven't used. Our sleeping conditions right now are on these, um, whatever these deals are. Hey, hey, stay out of my bedroom. Oh, sorry, Nate. That's, that's where the magic happens. There's no magic that happens in here. I've got this UGQ quilt. It's actually too hot. Um, James got us these bamboo pillows, which I'm glad he did. Yeah, yeah, he made fun of this too. I did, I did, I really did. These guys have weird freaking plugins, so they plug in like this. They're not like our normal plugins. Um, radios, comms. I, you know, we sat around like I don't know, literally. Well, we sat around in the morning, then we train people, train people, train people, take a break, train people, then sit around all night. Um, and then tomorrow's our day off, and so we're going to try to go out and find some stuff. But everybody else here just sits and does nothing, like nothing. And there, well, one thing that I noticed is in America, we really go crazy about our gear. Like, does it all match? Do we have everything? Um over here, they don't even care, man. They're like, their gear is so much matched and they all have an AK and while they're training, their hands are all bleeding. Yeah, it's nothing like what you think. But that is my actual, actual wartime kit for Ukraine. Um, so I appreciate everybody else who says what they think that they'd like to have, but this is what we have. And yes, I'm, I'm sick. Um, so I'm filming this on a phone. And uh, I'm sick. James is sick. Nate's sick. Everybody's sick. I'm not sick. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You said you were sick earlier. No, I'm feeling good. Sick of your shit. You're sick of your shit. So anyway, that's that is the real time war kit right there. Yeah. You know? So and we constantly have updates and threats every day uh, to make it to where you just don't even pay attention to them anymore. All right, boys and girls the real Ukraine kit.